So, or they can't watch it constantly. So I just decided to go back on YouTube and post as much as I can. But how are you guys doing? Uh, should I say I missed? If I tell you guys I missed YouTube, I would like to you people because I really don't like it's first of all YouTube for me is still showing my video online. So I won't say I missed YouTube. I'll just say it feels nice to be back on YouTube. Well, let me just cut the gist real quick because. I just really want to talk about something today that a lot of us have problems with. Hmm. I feel like the name the name of my my what they call it, my YouTube video today, a lot of people are like, hmm, this one is blaspheming, this one is a devil, is a devil child. Yes. Prayer does not move God. Let me say like one of my friends says it a lot. He says, come and fight me. <laughs> he says, come and fight me. Yes, prayer does not move God. Prayer does not move God. And let me explain to you first of all something. Let's look at Genesis 1. The Bible says that um, God rested from his works. So let me make you guys understand something that since the beginning of time, when God created Adam and Eve, since the beginning of time when everything happened, God has not created any other thing apart from what He already made. So yes, prayer does not move God. Prayer does not make God do things for you. Now let me also make you understand that where do your answer prayers come from? Because a lot of us think that yes, when we pray, oh my God, it's the, it will be hotline bling to heaven. Then Jesus will not see, Jesus will not tell you, Michael, oh yeah, will you pick up? Then he's gonna pick up the phone. Then when you pick up the phone, he'll not be like, yes, let me not transmit it voicemail to God. It doesn't happen that way. Your prayers are not magically trans like taking up to heaven and all these kind of things. I want you guys to open up with me to Ephesians 3:20. It says that the power to your answered prayer is actually within you. Hmm. It's actually within you. Sorry, my friend keeps looking at me eyes. I'm not because making me blush. <laughs> The prayer, to, uh, the, uh, the prayer to your answer, the answered prayer, the power to it is within you, boo. It's within you. The Bible says that we've been sealed with the Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit within us. We are the temple of God. So where you get the answered prayer from, the power to get this answered prayer is actually within you. The Holy Spirit's power enables that you have your prayers answered. Um, I want you guys to go with me to Philippians 1.19. And it says that for I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through to, I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus. So that make you guys understand something that the word and there is kahi and kahi can actually also mean actually. It can actually mean actually. So what Paul was actually saying, if you translate it in that version, is for I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer, which actually is the spiritual the, the, the supply of the spirit of god which then backs up the um ephesians 3 20 that says that the power comes from within us so yes prayer is the supply of the spirit of god and also ephesians 3 20 back to up to say that it is what the power within us like yes the prayer is answered so why don't we come to understand that Yes, this is what happens when we pray. God supplies our God. God doesn't just magically call man, you know, what they call it, just say, okay, you know what, let me answer your prayer right now. Because you pray a number of times, then your request is magically answered by God. That's what a lot of mistakes that people have because these people are so condemned. 
that when they want something from God, they don't want to ask Him because they are scared that, okay, God, I've not prayed this couple of times. I've not read my Bible for a couple of times. Then why should I ever come to you in the first place? That's the mistake that a lot of people have. But I'm here to tell you today that your prayer does not move God. Let me take you to John 3, 16, the popular verse that we quote every... See, fam, the amount of you people that are watching this channel right now that quote that verse in memory verse in Bible school. You know in your heart of heart that you know that verse up and down, every angle of it, you know it. But I'm here to tell you that most of you don't actually understand it. John 3 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave up his only begotten son. Now, make you, let me make you understand that, to be honest, you are a sinner when God still so loved you. So, what makes you think that right now, with your whole, he gave you the most prized gift on this world, which was his own son? Nothing else was more priced than God's own son, and that's what he gave to you. So what makes you think right now that with your whole self-righteousness and praying two hours a day and praying three hours a day, reading my Bible five hours a day is going to make God answer your prayers? I'm sorry, I'm here to tell you that that does not move God. All that doesn't move God. People have told you, the church has told you that that moves God, but I'm here to bring take away religion and bring Christianity and the faith to you that that does not move God God is moved by love and God is moved by grace you are saved by grace through faith Ephesians, Ephesians 2 so understand that all those things does not move God it would never move God God is moved by the love and the compassion that he had for you. God so loved the world that he gave up his only begotten son. That is what has been moving God from the beginning of time. The fact that he loves you, that's what moves him. So it's not the fact that you pray, it's not the fact that, oh, I'm so righteous, I'm so holy with God, right now I'm awesome and everything, the fact that I'm reading my Bible 247, that's not what's going to move God to answer your prayers. God has already provided everything for you since the beginning of time. God has stopped providing, the Bible said he rested. He doesn't provide, he, doesn't, he hasn't created anything since the last time he created it. Healing has already been provided for in Christ. Your peace has already been provided for in Jesus. Everything has been provided for. All you just have to do right now is accept it. And that's it. That's why the power comes from within you. He has already provided the power to answer prayers. Somebody say hallelujah. Yes, man. Yes. Thank you, sweetie. Yes. 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 <laughs> so everything has been provided for, guys. You don't need to come to God and kneel down and cry your whole tears out because you're asking Him for something. He has provided these things for you. You're a believer for goodness sake. Start to act like one. You're a believer. <laughs> Stop thinking that, oh, the devil, the, see fam, look, the devil is after everybody. It's only after you. Like, let me, so, let me, so, let me make, make a plan to you. It's not only after you, it's after every single person out there in this world. So the devil not that they should feel pity for him because every time, devil this devil that sometimes you're actually just ignorant of the fact that you already have the power within you to answer your prayers your prayers doesn't move, it doesn't move god one bit now i'm not saying don't pray now let me take you back to prayer because me i love to pray but you see the fact that you now know that your prayer doesn't move god it changes a lot for you you don't get condemned when you don't spend certain number of hours in prayer you don't get condemned or you don't do see prayer is for you and not for god that's what you need to understand it is for you and it is not for god the reason why i wake up every single day and i pray or the reason why i wake up every single day and i speak in tongues and i worship and i do all these things is because it's for me it's for my own good and it's not because it's going to move god or going to make god any place with me that he's already pleased with me in christ jesus no it's just going to help me grow better it's going to help me realize a lot of things it's going to help me to understand so much more than i don't know the bible says that when you pray in the spirit you pray to god and not to man you pray for when you pray you pray for the saints you pray for boldness you pray for you you get you get more aligned with god's will which it all is to help you and not help god so put in mind that your prayer does not move god god has already moved by grace there's nothing more you could do that would move him Prayer helps you and not God. You reading your Bible does not move God. It helps you grow as a Christian. It establishes you in your faith. The Bible says in Jude 1, it says that building up your most holy faith in praying in the Holy Ghost. When you pray in tongues, when you pray, when you spend time reading the Word, you're building up yourself. You're growing yourself. The Bible also says that you're rightly dividing good. You're dividing good. You know what you're, you know what you're going to stand by. You know what you're going when do you hear you hear, you hear something that they tell you, Oh, this is the gospel, like things now that I'm seeing online. A pastor will enter into congregation and tell people to eat grass. 
and you will not do you follow him and you eat the grass. Sorry, like how confused. <laughs> like you're not telling that you're the, the, the Bible the, you now quote Psalm 23, Shepherd. Oh Jesus. You you who now follow him and you eat that grass and you kiss his feet. Bam! All that is just stupidity. I'm sorry to say if I get anybody offended right now, but that's just being stupid. That's not Christianity. Please, can we stop lying to our congregation right here? Can we stop lying to the body of believers right there? This is why people don't want to be Christians because you tend to eat grass. <laughs> I can't tell you. I'm not, this is, I'm actually not joking. <laughs> like, you guys need to watch their video. I think I can put it in the link below. Like, when you guys see, you will see the video of someone that doesn't eat grass. How we believers. God loves us. Cares about us. Nothing you would ever do ever make him love you more than he already does. That's the beauty about being a Christian. That's the beauty about knowing God. He so loved us that he gave us the precious gift of his son who before we knew him. So your prayer does not move God. And I hope it, I hope make you guys understand. Because I'm going to be putting a lot of controversial stuff on my videos and you're going to be like, eh, Samantha, where did you get that from? <laughs> no. But I'm going to I, I'm actually being honest, but I'm like, see, it's not that deep. Your word, your word life, your prayer life is all to help you. If you don't do it, then you're doing yourself. I'm just telling you the truth. You're doing yourself. Because you could grow better, you could work better with God. Not because you're... The Bible says in First Peter, it says that... First Peter 1 verse 3. It says that... That may grace and peace we, 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 we increase in you with the knowledge of our Lord Jesus. So you come to understand... Grace and peace follows as you come to understand who God really is. You know, I was meditating upon something really amazing yesterday and someone said, and it was funny because it was like that faith is natural when you know how much a person loves you. Faith is natural when you know how much a person loves you. Oh, wow, thank you, this I need to write that down. See, so this week has said, man. Faith is natural when you know how much someone loves you. Your parents, if they tell you they're going to send you money tomorrow, you instantly believe it because you know that they love you and they will come on to life. Why can't you use the same logic for God? It is natural when you know someone's love for you. So that's why we learn. That's why you also see why the Bible will say faith comes by hearing. Because you by hearing the word of God, by understanding who God really is, you naturally fall in love with him and you naturally have faith. Faith is a natural thing for those who love God. That's the truth. The reason why you're not having faith is because you don't understand how much God loves you. If you did, there's no way, there's no way you lack faith. So I hope like I've ended that with like a couple of tips for you guys that prayer doesn't move God, your word doesn't move God. God loves you regardless because you're beautiful in guys and you know Christ in you too. Gang 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 So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video today. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys watch me when next I post. I'm going to be posting something. I'm evangelizing on Sunday. For those who are in Jefferson that want to talk to me, holla, we can meet up. I'm having a fellowship tomorrow by what time? I'm not having a fellowship. By 1, I think. No, by 3 p.m. tomorrow in Augusta. Please hit me up if you want to come. And God bless you guys. And I love you guys so much. Bye bye. Take care.